Did you? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create videos like that. We're going to make historical videos and this is a niche that is quite fruitful on YouTube because some creators use this to create videos for their channels, especially if, you, if you're someone that is like you shy away from camera, you don't want to show your face or YouTube content. This is another way you can use to create content. Look at these channels. There are some channels that really make good money on YouTube creating these kind of videos. So I'm going to show you how to create videos like this and I hope you are excited. So and to make it simple for you, I'll break it out to six short steps and know that you can use your phone or your computer to make these kind of videos. So if you're ready, let's get into it. All right, guys, let's get started. So the first thing we need here is to get a topic that I want to make our history video on our story on. So we're going to be using our first tool. It's called Gravity, right? You can go on your browser and search for it, but the link will be in the description and you're going to need to create an account. So I'm just going to log into my account. And click start for free okay so there's a lot, there are a lot of free tools in here in this gravity right uh, website so this is the dashboard so the first thing is i've come here because there are so many tools so many tools so i'll search for the tool that i want here which is called the hidden fact finder so i'll search for that okay now you need to enter your keyword so my keyword is going to be christopher columbus and i need like seven or five facts let me say seven facts about this person and then I'm going to click on create content. So these are seven facts about Christopher Columbus. I mean, if we all went to school, we heard history because we talked about Christopher Columbus back in the days of school. All right. So now we have our facts. Step two, we need a script for our story. These are facts, not script. So the second step is to get script for our story. So you're going to choose one of these facts to make a script. So I will take any of them. Now, this is just to show you guys how I got my script. Because I already have my story and my script. I want to show you guys how I did it. So I'll copy one of them. So I'll take uh, this one. And I come to the search bar up here. And I search for script for historical fact. Okay. Now I'm going to paste this here. Now this isn't the same story that I made. Okay. And I click on create content. All right, guys, so we have our script. So the next step is to create the voice that will narrate the story, which takes us to step three. So the tool we're going to be using here is called Eleven Lab. Now, let me show you guys something. This is part of the script. This is part of the script, but this isn't. OK, this is this are image description. So for each script, we have two image description for the story. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So what you need to do is you go to Eleven Labs. Now you're going to copy. You can copy all if you click here, you're going to copy all of this. So to avoid that, you can copy this line. This is part of the script. Copy, come to 11 labs, paste it here. Okay. Come copy the next part of the script. And we're going to repeat this process. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is our full script. Okay. And now we need to select the voice that will narrate this story. So I used Anthony. So Anthony is already highlighted because I used Anthony for my own story. So you can select the voice. If you go through it, you will see different voices and their purpose. This one is for this conversational Charlie. Okay, you can also try the voices and to know which one is good for you. So this is Jeremy. Love is a serious mental disease. That's funny. I don't like it. So we're going to maintain Anthony. Anthony is quite good. Let's try it. Logic will get you from A to B. Imagination will take you everywhere. So Anthony is good. So we're going to maintain Anthony, click on Anthony, and then we're going to click on generate to generate our narrator. So this is the whole script. The script's not long. See, and let's, let's play it to listen to what we have so far. Oh, we're done. As successful as many believe, he never reached the East Indies as he intended and failed to find the riches he promised to bring back to Spain. Columbus's legacy is more complex. All right, guys, so we have it now. We've generated our story. All we need to do is to click here to download it so we can have it. You know, it's done already having our computer, but I won't be using this story. OK, I won't be using this story. So this is my own story here. We look at the history. 
Let me play it for you guys. Did you know that Christopher Columbus was arrested and stripped of titles? So this is the story I'm going to be using, this one right here. And I already have it downloaded, okay? So now, what the next step is to generate images for our story. So you can use any AI tool that you're good at, any AI image generator. So, but I'll be using a free tool called Leonardo AI. There's Mid Journey. There are so many tools you can use. So I'll be using Leonardo AI to generate images. So you can come here and you can create your account and you have 150 free coins to use, generate images, and then you'll be renewed after 24 hours. So we're going to go to our uh, gravity right and go back to where we have our script. You know, after each uh, sentence of the script, gravity right gave us two image ideas that we need to generate. So you can see after each line, two image ideas. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten images we need to generate. So I'm going to come here and I'll copy one of uh I'll copy one of the prompt, go to my Leonardo AI, and I go to image generation. Okay, so these are the images that I did for my story. So I did generate a lot. So now one thing you need to do is come here and set your dimension to nine is to sixteen. Okay, because I'm generating images for like YouTube Shorts or Instagram or TikTok. 9 is to 16. 16 is to 9 is the big YouTube video format. 9 is to 16 is the short format. Okay, or TikTok format. So you're going to click on that. And then you come here, you paste your image prompt from Gravity, right? And then you click on generate. And I decided that I'll be generating two images, two, yeah, two images at a time. You can click on three, four, a different option, but I'm working on two. And I click on generate. All right, so I have two images. So you're going to choose whichever image you like and you download it here. If you don't like any of them, you can regenerate. Okay, so this is two images. It's taking four points from your coins, like four four coins. So if I like, let's say this one, because the, the prompt is saying Christopher Columbus setting sail on ship. So you can choose any of them. So if I say this one, I can just click here to download it. And I'm going to have that downloaded in my computer. So you have to repeat this process for all of this so you can have 10 images for your story it depends so not all the story is going to be 10 so the next part is we're going to convert our images so i have all my images already so these are my images here i have 10 of them because my story also had 10 images so the next part here is to convert our image into a video like this simple video animation like this to use them in our video so these two we're going to be using is called layer pics so this is the fourth part so you go to layer pics link will also be in the description and then you click on upload or you can just drag and drop your video here or your photo yeah sorry so go to your photos wherever they are and then you pick them you can just drag and drop here okay so this is my first image so here these are the animation style you can change the animation style here and if you scroll here you can look at the amount of animation that you want the animation length i this is actually an eight seconds so i I'll reduce all of mine to be at four seconds you can see here this is four and i put the animation like that so you can choose whatever animation you like can choose whatever so let's say i'll take this one okay the second one horizontal and then i'll say animation length in four seconds and that is it and i'll just go to export when i'm okay with it click on next and then i will click on save all right guys so we have our first animation save so you have to do that for all your 10 images to have 10 animations now like this now the next part is to use all our 10 videos or 10 small animations to create the historical video so let's get to it the tool we're going to be using here is called CapCut it's a free tool and that's what we're going to be using open your CapCut application on your computer or your smartphone and import your materials so I'm going to click on import I have all my 10 videos generated and this is it I'm going to highlight 10 of them click on open it's going to come in my CapCut and then I'm going to also import the voice that needs to narrate the story and also a background music I'm going to import the voice then I'll also import some background music for the video all right guys so we have everything here so let's put them on our time our let's put them on our timeline so we have all the 10 bit animations here so I'm going to put all the animations here so this is the 10th and because this guy is here this guy on our time on our yeah on our timeline is here so I'll be starting with the, I'll start with the 10th, then the 9th, because they are going to come behind the 10th animation. So this is the 9th, 8th, so I'm just going to put all of them. Okay, we have our animations, all of them here. Now the next thing is to add our voice narrator, our narrator from 11 Labs. This is it. Now, 
our narrator our, our, our story the narration is 30 seconds and you can see we have more space like the animations are a bit longer so i'm going to reduce all of them each animation i'll reduce it to like three three seconds it's four seconds each so i'll be reducing it to like three three seconds all right guys so we have that done so we reduce the length of our animations so now if we play it we're going to hear this was arrested and stripped of titles in 1500 accused of tyranny and brutality so each three seconds we're going to be having a change in scene now we need our now we need our subtitles so we're going to be using CapCut here to create subtitles so you're going to click on text here and then click on auto captions so we're going to create captions auto captions and click on create all right guys so we have our captions so now if i play it you will see so we have our caption. I want to edit the caption. So I'm going to come here and choose a font here. All right. So we're going to change our font to Montserrat Black. Okay. And then the, we're going to scroll down here and we choose the preset style to so be this. Now we can enlarge our subtitle, our captions a little bit like this. And then now click on captions if you want to reduce the number of words that will be showing up you can come here if like this one is quite long you can see how long it is and you click on enter you break it click here you break it click on enter and you reduce it you can reduce it just go on any of them touch and break it and you can also edit your caption if something is not spelled properly okay you can just double click and you edit but i do not i'm not editing anything because everything's went well i have all uh, my spellings correctly so now if i take it to the beginning and then i play it our caption is going to display somehow like this this was arrested and stripped of titles in 1500 accused of tyranny and brutality toward okay so it's pretty set up it's pretty cool now and now the next thing i'm going to add my uh my background music which is this one i'm going to put it here and then i'm going to take the volume down to something like this Let's play it and hear how much. Crew. The once revered explorer faced a fall from grace due to his actions. A stark reminder of the complaint. Okay. That's okay now. So if you want to add transition to your videos like this, then this is what you do. You're going to click on transitions here at the top right of your screen. Okay. There are some free transitions here like this one. All you need to do is click drag and put between two clips. Click on okay. Okay. And you put between clips so you can have transition between your clips so i'll just put on my clips select any transition you like all right guys so we're done adding the transition so we've added transitions between all our clips so now you see our clip our clip is quite long which two minutes 24 seconds but this is actually a 30 second story so i'm going to bring my timeline here and then i highlight the music and i click on split and then I delete this part of it. So we have our video at just 30 seconds. So now let's play it and see what we've done so far. Did you know that Christopher Columbus was arrested and stripped of titles in 1500? Accused of tyranny and brutality towards indigenous people and his own crew. All right, so I think this is pretty cool. All we need to do now is to save it. So we're going to export it. Click on export and then you click on export. You can rename it, whatever you want. So I'm going to say something like, anyway, let me say Columbus. Yeah, and then I click on export. All right, guys, so let's check the final product. Did you know that Christopher Columbus was arrested? Thoughts. All right, guys, so I've shown you guys how to create that historical video. That's how a lot of channels also use this method to create videos for their channels and they make a lot of money on YouTube. You can try it, but just so you need to put in the work to make uh, views and get subscribers. So if you like this video, hit that like button. And if you want to watch something new, click on the video coming up at the top right of your screen right now. See you guys in the next one.